Are there any kids out there? I sure hope so. Today, we're going to talk about David and Goliath. Do you remember? David was the boy who fought the giant. Look how big Goliath was. David's father sent him to bring food to his brothers who were fighting a battle. Do you think your parents would send you out to give your brothers lunch in a battle? Hmm. When they got there, they found out that they were fighting a giant. And that made everyone nervous and upset, especially David's dad. The giant was winning the battle. Nobody wanted to fight the giant. They were afraid of the giant. David said, I can defeat him. People thought that was funny. <laughs> David was just a small boy. But David said, I have fought lions and bears before. I can easily beat the giant with my slingshot. King Saul said, you will need armor. David put on the armor and said, I don't want to wear this, this is too heavy. David defeated the giant by hitting him in the head with a stone from his slingshot. David said, with God's help, I defeated him. Let's learn a scripture to help us remember David's story. The battle is the Lord's. The battle is the Lord's. You say it. That means God helps us feel strong even when we are weak. You can make a slingshot at home. You can use craft balls as stones and some popsicle sticks or some sticks you collect outside. You will need two sticks, some fuzzy balls, and one rubber band. You'll need to cut the rubber band in half and tie it onto the two sticks. You will need to glue the sticks together at the bottom to make a V. Then you can make a Goliath using a paper plate or even a piece of paper. Have your parent hang it up high and hit it with your stones. Load up your slingshot and defeat Goliath. Say the scripture as you throw it. The battle is the Lord's. You are strong with God. Today, we're going to learn about David. He was God's chosen one. God chose a shepherd to be a king. His name was David. David was the boy who killed the giant. Do you remember that? David was brave because he knew God was with him. God rewarded David for his faithfulness. He made him a king. Let's learn more of David's story. This is David. Hey. David was a shepherd who lived in Israel. David was chosen by God to be the next king of Israel when he was just a boy. But David had to wait a very long time until that promise would come true because there was another king of Israel named Saul. Saul was strong and tall and looked like everything a king should be. But Saul did not follow God like he was supposed to. And for that reason, God chose to take the kingdom from Saul's family and give it to David's. David became a great warrior. Arr! David was dearly loved by God, and Israel did flourish under his rule because David did everything that God wanted him to do, and he was a man after God's own heart. David was the second king of Israel. Yeah! He was a great warrior. Arr! He loved God with all of his heart, and he prayed to God often. Hmm. 
David loved God so much that he wanted to give him a special house to live in. Yeah, that's it. But God told David that it wasn't his plan for David to build this house. Even so, David thanked God for all he had done for him. He praised God for the great God that he is. Hmm. David wrote many psalms, which are prayers and songs to God that are in the Bible. In many of his psalms, David began by thanking and praising God. He thanked God for answering his prayers and giving him victory over his enemies. He thanked God for guiding him and showing him the right path to take. David thanked God for always being with him. Even when David was an old man, he thanked God in front of all the people of Israel for all that he had done. He said to the people, Give praise to the Lord your God. David talked to God his whole life, and this is one reason why God said, I have found a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to. David was faithful to God his whole life. Be like David. Be faithful to God and he will always be with you and your family. I'll see you next time.